So today we're actually touring a neighborhood I grew up in. This is section 11. This is a very cool area of town. The lots are pretty massive. So typically the lots in this neighborhood are anywhere from a quarter to half an acre. The home we're gonna be touring in just a few moments is actually 0.83 of an acre, so it's freaking giant. So they actually left a ton of room in the back so you can do whatever you want still. You can even add another house and sell it. Um, but it's a very cool neighborhood with no HOA and it holds close to my heart because of course my parents still live around here. I have lots of family and friends live around here and it's just a really, really awesome area. So let's check it out. Okay, so here we are. This is section 11. Beautiful, gorgeous trees. This neighborhood was built anywhere from the 70s, like this home right here, which was built in 1973. Of course, it's been recently updated. Um, but from the 70s up until the early 2000s, there's just lots that have been available for sale. People buy them, do all sorts of unique homes. They're all, they're all very custom, including this one over here. This used to be more of an like East Coast themed house with like the red brick and everything. Uh, companies come in, they've kind of renovated it to their own taste. I believe they Airbnb it, so that is an area. Um, it's not technically legal, but I know they kind of do it anyways. So you do have parking over here. Also access to the side yard with a big gate. And then the garage is around back as well. This used to be all equestrian. I think you can still have horses on a couple of these lots, uh, but it is rural. So that means that you don't see typical sidewalks out front of the houses. Um, I hated that growing up, trying to be like a poser skateboarder, but it's just so nice to be further away from your neighbors, have some of your own space. Um, as I've gotten older, that's what, I, that's what I appreciate more. So this is a flip. Full disclosure, they've done a lot of things like, you know, they've got the normal vinyl plank flooring, new fixtures for the most part. The floor plan is a little odd. It's very broken up. Here you could do like a little formal area right here. This would probably be the, the big family room, very large room, probably. 30 by 30, if not larger. The ceilings for this area are pretty high too, at least in this level right here. Um, right here, this is close to nine and a half or 10. This main living area right here, it is a little lower. So this is closer to the eight foot range. So new cabinets, new countertops, that Calzada quartz. Everyone does, it looks good. I'm not a giant fan of this, but very easy to get fixed. What do you think? Do you like it? Do you wish they would have made it bigger? I kind of wish they would have made it bigger for how large this is. We, we should probably talk some stats as well. So this house is listed at $885,000. It has been on the market for over a month. So I'm sure there is some wiggle room. Let's go out here. It's four bedrooms and they each have their own bathroom, which is awesome attached. So no one's been living here for a while. This pool is green, chlorine is expensive, but that could come right back to life. But look, this is the potential. Of course me, I would definitely be putting in you know, a big shop, work on some motorcycles, maybe a Bronco, do some cool stuff. You could even use this concrete pad as like the beginning landing strip for it. Um, basketball court would be a must. I don't even play basketball, but it's fun to just shoot hoops, you know? There's just so much space. So they have some fruit trees over there and it's got solar. So even though it's built in 1973, it'll be fairly energy efficient. It looks like a lot of these windows have been replaced too. Like, these are newer windows, you know? And the outside is it's this tile, but it really kind of looks like stone, especially from the front. It's 
square footage, we're just over 4,000 square feet. Now, it's cool too because the master's this way, so to the right of the kitchen, and then all the other bedrooms, don't, don't get dizzy, are over there. So let's go back to the master. Okay, so they've got the own entrance to the backyard, which I always love. You get the higher ceiling height again. That's about nine, nine and a half. I love this bathroom. And they've got giant closets. It just needs, you know, to be completely built in. They've got, it's kind of odd they didn't even leave a shelf, but I guess then it's up to you how you want to custom do it. They look equal in size, so no fighting with your partner. I really like the floating tub. What's up? And you got the standard pooper. And what's nice too about this shower, they kind of slope the, um, the, the pan to the floor, so there's no threshold, you don't have to step over anything. Then you've got rain shower, normal one coming out of the wall. And that's where I shave my legs. All right, while I'm walking over to the other area of the house, I just wanna talk about some pros to this community. One being uh, no HOA, do whatever you wanna do. You wanna paint your house a certain color, go for it. Uh, if you wanna work on your vehicles and driveway, cool. Con to that is other people can do that as well. Um, but we're here, there's a ton of space. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a lot of space, so you don't have to deal with that as much. It's not in your face. Um, another beautiful pro to this neighborhood is it's very close to the strip. You're probably 10, 15 minutes tops to get down to the strip. Chinatown's right around here, about five minutes to Chinatown, and then you can go eat till your heart's content, because we all know they've got some of the best cuisine uh, in Las Vegas. Um, also, it's just, it's really close to a lot of things. If you have a kid going to UNLV, not too far, you can take surface streets the whole way. Uh, it's just very convenient to grocery stores, auto dealerships, there's, there's a ton over here. Just look on a map, look at section 11, just look at like Sahara and Jones and you'll see a ton over here. All right, let's go check out those other rooms. And if you're wondering, Steve, are you that out of shape that you're sweating? I mean, I am out of shape, but, it's 108 degrees right now, and I don't think they have one of these AC units turned on. So, yeah, precipitating a wee bit. So that's the half bath. This would be like a full guest bath. This house would be great for entertaining. A bunch of guests especially because they all have their own bathroom, all the bedrooms. So this is bedroom number two. Very large closet, good ro sized room. It's probably 11 by 14. Just ballparking it for you. Here's the designated bathroom. There you go. Similar tile work. I like that, that looks pretty. So you have an idea what they've done to this house. This is probably what the newer texture is, and this was what it was at one point. Might have even had some popcorn ceilings. All right, almost done. We've got two more bedrooms. This one, a little awkward where they have the closet cut out, but still big enough for a queen. What is cool though is that you have access outside. So you could even like rent this room out and never have to see this person. But I'm sure if you're buying a $885,000 house, you're not worried about renting one room for five to 600 bucks, you know? And bedroom number four.
All right, so that's the tour of my hood, right? Section 11, this is where my parents still live. I grew up here, awesome house, awesome area. Um, a little quirky, but I think there's a lot of room to work around it and of course the building potential in the back. So if you have any questions about this house or any house in Las Vegas, or if you think about buying or selling, feel free to reach me at my number, boom. Um, also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Battleborn Steve. And if you have any questions about moving or living in Las Vegas, I'm your guy, I'm local Las Vegas real estate agent, and I'd be more than happy to help answer any questions you might have. So till the next video, see ya.